pretty easy to find boneless, skinless chicken breasts at the market, but sometimes you want a boneless breast that still has the skin on. Maybe you want to put a little stuffing under the skin, or you just want to bake it with the skin on to give it a little texture and flavor. You don't usually find a boneless, skin-on chicken breast at the market, so you need to buy a split chicken breast and bone it out yourself. This split chicken breast has a little bit of the rib cage attached to it, and that's pretty typical for this cut, and it usually has a little extra skin on it, too. So in order to bone it out, the first thing I like to do is start by trimming up the skin up a little bit. And then I start at the rib cage. This is sort of the narrower side of the chicken breast. And we don't want the rib cage. You can see the line right here is where the chicken breast pretty much starts. So I'll make a little cut down to the, down to the bones. And then I'll just start swiping my boning knife along the, the rib cage underneath the meat. And as I do this, I'm going to be pulling back on the meat to expose the bones and show me where I need to cut. The whole time I'm keeping the tip of the knife angled toward the bone so that I'm not cutting into the meat. Mostly it's just a matter of feeling your way along the structure of the chicken breast. Now this piece has a little bit of the keel bone, which is the breast bone, and I know that I need to get underneath that to free it up. There's usually a little bit of the wishbone still in the breast too, so once you get to this point, just scrape your knife around the bone to pull it out. I'll turn it over and we have a nice boneless skin on chicken breast.